Hello everyone! Alrighty. Obviously, as the title of the video says, this is the SimonSaysStamp.com Fun and Festive Release. <laughs> Got such a mess going on. Um, let's just jump into it. If it isn't one thing, it's another in my life lately. So, yeah, I've been trying to film this multiple times over the last several days. And things have been just literally bonkers. But anywho, this release just went live. It has been super popular. Um, I hate saying this, but I think some items are sold out at, the, at, at this moment. However, Simon's really good about restocking things really quickly. So I'll have links, all that stuff in the description box below. So first off, let's do the, this is the Snowmen pre-printed um, prints by Susie. These are all printed, just like all the other ones, they're printed on Distress watercolor paper on the smooth side. So you can color them with whatever you want. Um, I tend to do watercolor, I've seen people do Copics, all the things, and these are, these are really cute. I've been kind of thinking I almost should get more. Like there's so many different packs she's done. But it'd be fun to get more of them and for something for my kids to do too because I think they would enjoy these because the thing I like about them is they're bigger. You know, they're not little stamps or anything like that. Like they're nice big sizes. It's already done. I've said this before. These are great. You could throw these in a Ziploc bag with some markers or whatever. Take them on the go. Throw them in with a little bit, a little watercolor palette and a water brush. Do, a, you know, coloring on the go. Anyway, all these cute, adorable. I have a thing for snowman and these are just so cute. And the fun thing is, is after done coloring, you can either die cut it or you could trim them out depending on what you're doing, slap them on a card, and you're good to go. So these are adorable, absolutely adorable. Apologies for the noise, there's construction going on, I have laundry going, and I wasn't about to stop my laundry, it needs to get done. <laughs> it needs to get done. Seriously. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I don't even know where to begin. Okay. We've got the Happy Christmas wafer dies. I love these so much. I love all of these gorgeous scripty font dies that Simon does and this one as soon as I saw it I was like yes love I really really love to when the outline die die cuts all those inner portions like I would honestly be happy even if it didn't even if it was a solid outline but sometimes with some of these it just makes it look so much more polished I guess is the word so and this is a nice size like here yeah this is a two size so this is four and a quarter by five and a half so you can see, like, this, this is a nice size. It's, you know, that and a nice little image or whatever, and your, your card is done. So this is Happy Christmas, live. I was gonna use this on the card I posted earlier today, but I used a bunch of other stuff, and I'll get to that in a minute too. So that one, and then we have this awesome Holiday Words on a line, and I nearly used this one too. I, <laughs> if I could've used like 20 stamp sets and die sets on one card, I probably would've. I've already cut all these apart, so you've got all these great little sentiments, all die cut on a nice little line. I really like these. I like using these in addition to, you know, scripty stamps or scripty font die and some images. And it just, you know, gives it that extra little something. So we've got all of these and all of these are um, just about, they are, they're just slightly over five and a half. So you can use them you know, horizontally or vertically, and just trim off the ends, depending. So, I really like these. They're just really, really cute. So that's holiday words on a line. And I'm, oh, I have stuff piled up everywhere. Okay, um, the other thing that was released, which seems random, but it's not. This is the Earth Has Music wafer die set. This is a big set. This was released earlier, this stamp set. And with some sets, Simon doesn't release dies, but if there's demand and a lot of people want them, they will make dies because the dies for bigger sets like this get pricey because these are huge. Like this set is huge. This is a six by eight stamp set. Again, just to give you an idea, like that large feather is massive. This set is so beautiful. So now there are coordinating dies for this set, which is really nice. I like that. I was actually, I was one of the people when I was like, when I got the set, I was like, ooh, dies for this would be so perfect. <laughs> So now we have them. So we've got that. We have um, a couple of fabulous background stamps. I really love the mod trees. All Simon's backgrounds, 
as always, um, our red rubber on cling foam with the image printed right onto, like it's not on the backing sheet, it's actually on the stamp, which I love. So this one is the Mod Trees. I just, I like the clean graphic style of this because this goes with like pretty much anything in my opinion. So I love that. I also love this one. This is the Outline Snowflake. This one I immediately, I wanted to do this last night, but I, I was feeling horrible. Heat and Boss, do some watercoloring of some sort. Love, this would also, both of these would look really good tone on tone as well. I just stamp with Versamark on like a dark cardstock like this. Ooh, or this stamped with Versamark and then like used a glitter embossing pattern. See, ideas. Anyway, and then we have this great big one. This is the There For Sentiment. This one is large, like here's an A2 card. So if you wanted the entire sentiment to show up, do like a square, like a six by six square. You could frame that, like you could do like, um, you know, a fancy background and then stamp and heat emboss this in a, like a metallic emboss pattern and like actually make like, you know, framed art with it. So really encouraging sentiment with that one. And then this one. If the song doesn't start playing in your head when you see this, here is Meli Kaliki Maka. Gorgeous, another big, like this stamp is huge and it's seashells. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, huge, huge stamp. That is so pretty. Um, this would be fun to make a shaped card out of. So just have a piece of cardstock folded over, stamp that, and then just leave like an area for the actual um, hinge, and then cut that out. Like how fun would that be? Such a pretty set. So I have, I think this one's gonna be really popular. So love that. So have that one. And then we have this great one. This is the winter scene. There is a coordinating wafer die set for this one. So you got a rectangle that'll die cut out what looks like a plain part, but the whole point is this is the, your background. And then you can add all these other little images to create your scene. So you can either, you know, pop this up or you could die cut it, make it a shaker, like have this on the inside. You know, the scene, the actual scene on the inside of the card and use the rectangle die cut and make it your window. All kinds of things, you know. Cute little string Christmas lights, all these cute little images, some great sentiments that also fit kind of within it. Really fun. So you can either just stamp everything, coordinating dies to die cut out everything to you know create that little scene I think this is just such an adorable set really fun for so that one and then we have I didn't die cut this but I should actually in fact I'm gonna pause the video right now and quickly die cut this okay I'm back okay this is the dancing deer wafer die and it cuts out that outline just like so I immediately think die cutting this from either a foil cardstock or a glitter cardstock and then add like a little red rhinestone to his nose would be very perfect. Super clean and graphic. You could add just a nice like a die cut or a stamp sentiment and you're like done. You could inlay these pieces though and do, you know, more, more foil, more graphic, more glitter love. So really fun little wafer die. So this was the dancing deer wafer die and then we have the this one's really fun too this is the stitching tree and very simple it's just going to die cut all these little holes into the tree shape but the cool thing about this is you know die cut it take some embroidery thread and you can like design your own little tree or metallic thread would look really nice too you know and then you could add a few little rhinestones add a sentiment yeah, like this is probably like the easiest way to add stitching, you know? I know some people are really intimidated by the whole like whole panels we've been doing of card stitching. Well, I've done them. I haven't done any videos on them yet. Ha! Huh. But uh, yeah, as soon as I saw this, I was like, ooh, I can start stitching again. And this, I could actually, you know, pop out a ton of these in one sitting, sit and watch a favorite movie or whatever, and like do a bunch of Christmas cards that has stitching, and yet, you know, it's not gonna take an hour per card sort of a thing. So I really like that. I think that's really fun. So there's that one. And then another one is the Snowflake Tags. Wait for dies. I love tag dies. I think these are really cute. So yeah, it's gonna cut the snowflakes right into the tags, which I love, because then you can easily, like, you're pretty much good to go. You know, you could just die cut them and then leave it blank and then write in who they're to and from, etc. And they're cute and no effort. 
you know, I love decorative tags, but also sometimes you just need some quick stuff done now. These are great. I like these a lot. Plus you can use, like, you know, use the snowflake that ends up being die cut out of the tag for something else. Thumbs up for that idea. So I really like these a lot. So that's those. And then we have this really great, this is the Christmas Wishes stamp set. So we've got all these sentiments. I love how this one is actually in the shape of a tree. Um, wishing you health and happiness this holiday season in the year to come. Wishing you love and joy this holiday season. It's not what's under the tree that matters, it's who is gathered around it. Um, to from, we work great on those tags. Um, wishing you all the hope, wonder, and joy that the season can bring. May peace be in your hearts and home this Christmas. Joy, love, peace, believe Christmas. Like, isn't that nice? Such a nice set. I really like that. I really like everything. Really, let's be honest. Okay, so I'm like kind of miss it messing up everything and put, putting everything in the wrong spot. Okay, okay, let's get back to, <laughs> to where I'm going here. So we got that one and then we have this awesome, this is the CZ Design, this is the Bestie stamp set. Love, I always love all of it. See, so yeah, Rose the Red, Violet's Blue, you are the um, bestie, etc. And then I love that though, because then it's like, so it doesn't rhyme, but you're still my bestie forever. So cute. Yeah, let's be besties, besties for life. Thank you for being my friend. You are always there for me, etc. Be friend, best friend. So we've got stamp set. There's a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut out all these larger words, which again, you know, cuts out all the little interior pieces, which I just, I really, really like that. It, I don't know, it adds something extra. So there's that one, and then there's also this one, which can kind of go with it. So um, this is the Babe wafer die, which I've already cut apart, and same idea. It die cuts the word and the outline. So just FYI, the packaging, like this, this one is bigger than the actual die itself. Still a decent size, but I love the classic font of a lot of the CZ design wafer dies. So we got that one. Speaking of CZ design, there's also this set. This is the ornamental stamp set. Bunch of sentiments, great ornaments that you can like build and decorate, etc. Jingle all the way, joy to the world, wishing you the happiest of the holidays, etc. There's the coordinating wafer die set that will die cut out the images, the snowflakes, and the ornament wafer die. There's also the Mary wafer die, same thing. The word and the outline, just like so. And I actually, I actually have a card design to show. Actually, I'll show the card in a second. So there's this set, and then we have um, this super cute set. This is the Critter Sweaters stamp set. And when I first got the first package for this release, I saw this and I was like, okay, like they're cute borders. I saw the faces and I was like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand like what, what's going on. But I was like, it's cute. I like the borders, you know? And then I saw the sweaters, I was like, okay. Then I saw this, the dye set and I was like, oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> so this is one of the sets where I really recommend getting the coordinating die set because the coordinating die set is the actual critters. You have the cat, the bear, and the bunny. The face for all of them. Sentiments, and then all the pieces to make different patterns on their sweaters. And yes, I've already posted the video with this card using the wafer dies and the critters. I used the Mary wafer die for the sentiment. The Christmas is from this set. This is actually from a stencil I'll show in a second. And then the inside is more sentiments and then the coordinating wafer die. See how it cuts out everything so nicely, which I love. So and then the snowflakes from this set as well. So love it, love it. So that was those. And then I also on this set used, um, this is the Tiny Words Christmas. Simon already released a Tiny Word set, which I absolutely love and I reach for frequently. So now there's a Christmas one, which I love because there is a ton of sentiments in here, like tons. And they're all tiny, so they're perfect just as little companion sentiments. I always love heat embossing them and then die cutting them with the little sentiment labels dies, which don't ever get put away. The narrowest one is perfect for these. 
So there's the From All of Us, and that's what I used on my card here, and just stamped it. Heat embossed it with white, sponged crack sachet ink over it, and added that to my card. And then this was the stencil that was released as well. This is the um, Lined Circles stencil. Really fun. So I used that with glitter paste on my card base here. Isn't that fun? I just like the pattern it gave, it was so fun. So that was that. And then, uh, okay, let's get into this wafer die first. This is the You're So Kind, and I die cut this. I really like, these are dies normally, I wouldn't, when they first started releasing some of these, I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. And it's not ones I usually gravitate towards, but then when I have them, I'm like, I reach for these a lot. And what I really like with ones like this, is I like to use them to like, kind of ground images. Like if I was gonna use it on here, I would have had it here and then have all these characters kind of like sitting, almost as if they're sitting on top. Or the smaller picture book characters that I love a lot because they have like little flat bases too, similar to these. I like having them so they can sit on the sentiment, you know, and it kind of grounds it. So you got your little character, etc. So I really like these. And I like, you can die cut it and leave it like this, or you can inlay the letters, or you can just pop the letters out and use just the outline. You know, like there's there's options. I like that a lot. So I bought one. And then there was three snowflake wafer dies released. I have two of them. The smallest one I don't have here. So I have the Rena snowflake and the Alicia snowflake. And there was one more, and I'll have a link to it, but it's smaller than this one. It's about the size, almost at the center of this one. It's just a littler one. So I just die cut those so you can see the detail of these. Aren't these gorgeous? Like, look how gorgeous those are. Love. Love, love, love. So, so pretty. So there's those. And then we are getting into some really... I'm, all these dies, I'm like losing my light. Okay, there's also sequin and confetti mixes. There's this gorgeous, this is the frosty snow, and I love this. Like there's all these snow-shaped confetti mixed with this like kind of pinky iridescent, like flat confetti. It's so pretty. So there's that one, and then this is really fun. This is the holiday wreath. So sequins in confetti and greens and reds and like a pearly white color and there's great big sequin snowflakes in here as well super fun and then this is the christmas magic which is also this is like iridescent and blues and reds and, oh, and like there's little stars in here yeah <laughs> i always call these like dime bags for crafters because yeah that's kind of what it feels like to me i collect them like a little hoarder and i just love them they're so pretty okay so there's that. Last but certainly not least, a whole bunch of big picture book characters were released and I was really excited because I was like, yay, more characters! And then there's more. Okay. So we've got the big picture book, Bear, and they're all big. Like, if you're not familiar with the big picture book wafer dies, they're huge. So there's an A2 card base. Huge. Love it absolutely love it. So we have um, a raccoon now, koala, and Jack Russell. Isn't he cute? Okay, now we're getting into, so the, I did the puppy, because one thing I really liked about him is all these dies are separate with this one. Like a lot of those, like the bear I showed you is all one piece. This guy has several different dies because you have his face, and then his ears that get adhered, you know, kind of over top, or you could hear, you know, it just depends on how you want to adhere them. And then there's a separate for his little tongue. You have a separate little die, so you can choose whether or not you even want to use that, which I always love to have options. So I've got him all adhered. And you can either, you know, use the tongue or if it's without. He looks just as cute either way, but it die cuts that little opening there so you can isn't he adorable? I love him. So, we have that. Then, there's all of these bases or like bodies to really finish them off. So, first one we have is the big picture book. This is the big 
body. And it's actually two wafer dies. So you have the base and then there's a separate die to do the center. So you can, you know, choose whatever colors you want. So you can tuck the body part in like so and adhere it. So then he could be, you know, just sitting there on your card looking adorable. The cutest thing I think with these is you could tuck in like, you know, you could have him holding some money, a little gift, a little heart, etc. Like the sentiment. How cute. You guys see why I'm like freaking out? Okay, so that's the big body. Then we have the hugs, which the dies for it. I was like, I'm, I was lost for half a second here. So yeah, the dies are like this. I was like, what on earth? But then you look at the actual image on the front, it was like, oh, okay, so you have the three pieces and you can either do it like this and it's kind of like up higher or you could do it like this and it's like a shorter little body. See, isn't that cute? Ah, <laughs> so yeah. This one's more upright with it further apart. This one, you know, the paws are almost touching because he's giving hugs. You know? You know? Hence why I'm like losing my mind. Okay, so that was hugs. And then the other one is the big picture book tails. So this is this die right here. So now you guys are adding in like little tails. How fun is this? You got like a, the long one could be a cat's tail. You got um, a little poofy one, etc. So just depending on what what creature you're making, you know what sort of tail you want for all these big picture book characters. So I was again really excited because there was a couple times I was like, oh, this would look so cute, you know. So we have that. Last but not least, we have the cute little crouching paws and standing body, which again I was like, okay, I don't fully. I don't fully get it, but one, you can either use them together, somewhat, I think if you kind of put it up like that, so it looks more like that, so you got the front and the back, and then you got his little body, and then you stick his little tail in there, this is not the cutest thing ever, I don't think they're meant to really go together, I was just, just now, I was like, oh, that looks actually like kind of perfect, but you can either do it like that, or you can use just the one. See? 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 Isn't that cute? I'm such a nerd, but I love it. I love it. You technically can use it with um, the hugging one. I'm not sure. Like, I think it would depend on some. I think the bear head would look really good with this. He kind of looks like he's got really beefy arms. <laughs> Which would kind of work too, you know? Like, how cute is that? <laughs> So you can kind of mix and match with these. I don't know. I'm just kind of, I've been, after I die cut everything and started like, you know, putting it all together and I'm like playing with these and I'm like, these are kind of funny. I love it. Love it. So yeah, he could be like, um, kind of crouching with his little, you know, whatever floats your boat, honestly. I think they're adorable. And then, so we got all that. And then kind of randomly in this release and yet at the same time, I'm like, hey, this kind of works is this and again I die cut it so that I could let's get his tail stuck in there too because why not there there's a little tail so there's this uh, watermelon die and it's not a picture book die it's just a watermelon die so we have the die it die cuts out these pieces it does the embossed lines and then there's also an outline to layer everything on and I'm like well this is nice it seems a little random for this release but still nice and I like watermelon but then I die cut it put it all together I die cut it from different colors of cardstock so you can see how it looks isn't that cute but I was like oh oh he could be holding some watermelon you know and then add a sentiment about how you know you're so sweet etc so it works it does work and FYI, keep the pink, when you die cut the pink part, keep these. I really like the shape, the like kind of wonky shape of the heart seeds. So that right there, I was like, oh, I might actually use this more just for the hearts than I will for anything else because I really like these cute and quirky little hearts. How fun are these? So I'll be keeping this die handy 
just for that because I can never have too many little heart dies to add, you know, just these little embellishments. So there's those, and then last but not least, there is this set, which I have been waiting for something. I was hoping Simon would release something like this. So these work with the um, picture book dies, any critter or animal sort of a die. I moose you, rough rue, it's, it's sherbet day, um, ages irrelevant. Love you dearly, hey hop stuff. Don't stop retrieving. You're the best. No lion to the very best. You bet giraffe. I love you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hey, Foxy Later Gator. I love you. Like, you know, like all these fun poom chicka chihuahua. <laughs> chihuahua. Chihuahua. Uh, you're the bravest. So yeah, such a fun sentiment set. And I was like, yes, because there's sometimes with these animals, I'm like, you know, I want to make some, but I was like, what am I going to say? specifically with that with that image so there's a bunch of cute little ones bananas for you you're pandastic they're so cute i love punny sentiments so okay i've gone on long enough if i go on any longer one this video is going to be way too long and two i'm gonna lose my voice so <laughs> i will have links in the description box below the video as well as picture links on my blog um i already posted the link in the eye earlier when i showed um this card there will be more coming of course because i'm just like playing around these are so much fun so check those out if you're interested thank you all so much for watching and for subscribing and thumbs up and commenting on my videos i really appreciate it and stay tuned because i'll be back very soon with another one bye